Hello YouTubers, myself Asis Patel from Techno Automation and today I am going to show you my new project which is POV Fan Display and I am going to s explain the working of POV Fan Display in this video. So let's get started. First of all I like to explain working principle of POV Fan Display. So let's assume we have one fan blade having LED installed at one corner of that fan and if we rotate this fan at full speed then we are going to see a circle. If one rotation of fan blade takes 100 milliseconds and if we turn LED on for 50 milliseconds on each rotation then we probably can see a half circle like this. If we switch on LED for 5 milliseconds and keep it off for 5 milliseconds and repeat this continuously then we can see a dotted circle. Wow! If we put 5 LED on the same scale then we can plot any character using that 5 dots by switching on and off each LED. So to explain this scenario I like to explain this example. If I switch on all 5 LEDs for first 5 milliseconds in next 5 milliseconds only first and third LED is switched on and in next 5 milliseconds all LEDs are switched on then we are going to see character A. Wow! Same way we can plot character B, character C and any character. Wow! That's great! So now we are uh, understanding the working of POV display. So let's build our own POV display. For making this fan, I've used one scale, one Arduino Pro Mini, 5 LED, 200 ohm resistors, 1.5 volt battery, 9 volt battery, battery connector, DC motor, hall sensor, magnet, FTDI programmer and finally switch. First of all I take one plastic scale then make five marking for LED and one marking for motor pulley then making hole using drill machine. This is how it looks after making all holes. Holes for LED and holes for pulley. Then after I am fixing a pulley using Faviquick and fixing LED using Faviquick. Then I have soldered 200 ohm resistors for current limiting on each LED anode pin and the schematic is like this. Then after I have soldered flexible wire to each second terminal of resistors and secure all the connection using heat shrink. After that I have soldered all flexible wire to Arduino pin uh, following this schematic. So the first LED is connected with pin number 3, second is connected with 4, third is connected with 5, fourth one is connected with pin number 6 and fifth one is connected with pin number 7. And ground pin of all LED is connected with common ground of Arduino. After that I have fixed the Arduino Pro Mini on the scale using hot glue. Then after I have fixed the 1.5 volt battery using hot glue. Uh, then I have put the motor in pulley and fix it using Faviquick. Then after I have installed the switch using glue stick. And finally I have installed counter balance so that the fan is rotating smoothly. Finally I have made the wiring using this schematic diagram and as per this schematic diagram both cells are connected in series and the positive terminal of the cell is connected with the switch and second terminal of the switch is connected to the VCC pin of the Arduino. The negative pin of the second cell is connected with the ground pin and the ground pin is also connected with the LED ground pin. After completion of the wiring I have opened Arduino IDE and write down the code. After completion of code, I have downloaded the code in Arduino Pro Mini using this wiring diagram. And guys, you don't need to worry about the code because all code details are mentioned in video description and you can download the code from my GitHub repository anytime. So this is the final showdown. So let's play the video of my POV play. So we can see the character. Yep, it's working. but it's rotating randomly and it seems like drunken man. So this is the failure of my project. So what is the problem of this failure? The problem is LED switching time and actual rotation time is not matched. What are the solution? The first solution is set switching time accurately as per the motor speed. It's difficult as motor speed can change due to battery voltage. So nope, 
it's not practical solution the second solution is we can fix LED switching point using any sensor and it's great idea and very easy using hall sensor so finally I have installed one hall sensor on the my on the scale and fix one magnet on fixed body uh, this is the actual mounting of hall sensor and actual mounting of magnet and the schematic of the hall sensor is mentioned over here so the VCC pin of the hall sensor is connected with my Arduino 5 volt pin and the ground pin of the hall sensor is connected with the ground pin and the signal pin of the hall sensor is connected with Arduino pin number 2 once again I open Arduino IDD and change the program download the program using FTDI converter and once again you need not to worry about the code because code detail is also already mentioned in video description and you can download from my git repository so this is time to final showdown and play the video so I have just switch on my POV fan and it's working very smoothly and it's showing the YouTube and it's saying Asis is great yes it's working so guys thank you for watching my video and if you like my video press the like button and subscribe my channel and press bell icon so that you can never miss my upcoming video and once again my video